हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एनजी क्लासेस यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर अ वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज इन कंट्रोल सिस्टम्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी शैल कंसीडर अ न्यूमेरिकल फॉर यूनिटी फीडबैक सिस्टम जी ऑफ एस व्हिच इज इक्वल टू के डिवाइडेड बाय एस इनटू ब्रैकेट वन प्लस पॉइंट फोर एस इनटू वन प्लस पॉइंट टू फाइव एस फाइंड द रेंज ऑफ वैल्यूज ऑफ के मार्जिनल वैल्यू ऑफ के एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ सस्टेन्ड ऑसिलेशन सो हियर आई हैव गॉट थ्री पैरामीटर्स टू बी फाउंड सो फर्स्ट लेट मी राइट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इक्वेशन इज the characteristic the characteristic equation is so what is that characteristic equation which is 1 plus g of s h of s equal to 0 so just let me uh, consider writing 1 plus g of s into h of s equal to 0 so what is h of s as it is earlier said in the numerical for a unity feedback system that means h of s equal to 1 so let me consider 1 plus what is g of s g of s is a k this gets divided by k gets divided by i have the i have the term s into bracket 1 plus 0.4 yes Into bracket, I have one plus zero point two five U S. Correct. So this I need to equate it to zero. For this, I have to find the LCM. So just let me find that yes into bracket, and I would consider multiplying these two terms. I would get one into one, which is one one into point two five S. I'm going to get point two five U into S. Plus 0.4 into s into 1. I'm going to get 0.4 yes. Then I have plus 0.4 into 0.25. That turns out to be 0.1 is into s turns out to be s square plus k is equal to zero. So just let me rearrange this in the highest powers of s. So therefore I'm going to get 0.1 into s to the power 3 plus Then I have 0.25 yes plus 0.4 uh, yes. That turns out to be 0.65 yes. That gets multiplied with another yes. It it turns out to be a square plus one into yes. It turns out to be yes plus k equal to zero. So finally, this is what I'm going to get. For this, I need to construct the root array. So just let me consider constructing construct. constructing the root array constructing the root array so what is going to happen so just let me consider writing s to the power 3 a square s to the power 1 and let lastly i would consider yes so just let me draw a straight line over here and then just let me fill up this roots array so first i let me consider writing the coefficients of odd powers of yes so here i would write 0.1 then i would write 1 below i would consider writing the even powers of yes which is 0.65 square coefficient is 0.65 over here then i have k now i need to complete this uh, root table for that uh, for that i need to multiply these two 0.65 into 1 minus 0.1 into k divided by this 0.65 so let me do that 0.65 into 1 which turns out to be 0.65 minus 0.65 over here minus 0.1 k so this gets divided by 0.65 so let me consider that and here i would consider 0.65 right and lastly to construct uh, the last uh, column over here so it is 0.6 this element into k minus 0.65 into 0 divided by this which turns out to be k to find the range of values of k from the first row what what i can say is k must be greater than 0 correct and from this row this element that is 0.65 minus 0.1 into k that gets divided by here i have 0.65 this must be 
greater than zero again. So if I solve these two, I'm going to get the lower range as well as the higher range. So what should I get now? Point six five minus point one k. This must be greater than zero by taking point six five to the RHS. That uh, turns out to be zero. So ultimately, I'm going to get point six five must be greater than point one k. So if I solve that, what I'm going to get? Similarly, I'm going to get uh, point six five divided by point one turns out to be six point five greater than k that means k must be less than uh, this value i would write k is less than point uh, not point it is 6.5 so ultimately what are the range of uh, range of values of k therefore range of so just let me write range of values of k range of values of k so what is that k is greater than 0 and k is less than 6.5 so ultimately this is the range of values of k so just let me put this in a box yes this is the first answer so moving further i need to find the second one marginal value of k so what is marginal value of k the value of k which makes any row of roots array as a row of zeros is called as marginal value of k so that is the definition of marginal value of k so to find that so let me consider marginal value of k so what should i do so I have to consider this row and I need to equate that to 0 because it is that value of k which makes any row of root as 0. So what should I do? I should do 0 0.65, 0 0.65 minus 0.1k. So now k becomes k marginal, correct? Divided by 0.65 equal to 0 so that terms divided by I have to take it to RHS that also becomes 0 so ultimately what do I get I'm going to get a point 0.1 k marginal is equal to point 0.65 so ultimately I'm going to get k marginal is equal to point 0.65 divided by point 0.1 turns out to be 6.5 so this is the second parameter I have found over here k marginal as equal to point, uh, 6.5 so with this uh, we are done with the two parameters and lastly I have to consider the third parameter that is the frequency of oscillation for that let me consider uh, the auxiliary equation let me consider the auxiliary auxiliary equation so what is that auxiliary equation a of yes so I need to equate that to 0 a of yes equal to 0 so what is uh, a of yes so it is with respect to this one 0 0.65 s square plus k is equal to 0 that means auxiliary equation means uh, the row when it becomes 0 if I put k equal to k marginal this row turns out to be 0 I need to consider a row just about that that means with respect to a s square so this I need to consider 0 0.65 s square plus k is that fine so therefore I would consider the auxiliary polynomial as 0 0.65 s square plus k so this I need to equate it to 0 so, so solving this what I'm going to get I'm going to get uh, k also the value I'm going to put over here so let me consider that point six five s square and now k value I'm going to get uh, put its marginal value which is 6.5 equal to 0 so solving this what I'm going to get therefore s square equal to 6.5 I'll take it to the RHS it turns out to be minus 6.5 this gets uh, divided by 0 0.65 so what is that that turns out to be s square 
is equal to minus 10. So what is s? s equal to square root of, I'm going to get square root of minus 10. So what is that? That turns out to be s equal to plus or minus j 3.162. So now I need to compare this. Compare it what? So just let me write comparing comparing with s equal to plus or minus j omega. So what is omega? Omega is the frequency of oscillation. So that turns out to be. So ultimately therefore omega turns out to be 3.162 radians per second. Radians per second is going to be the frequency of oscillations. Omega is equal to so just let me consider write this onto a table sorry so just let me put a table over here so omega is equal to 3.162 radian per second is going to be the frequency of oscillations so in this numerical i have solved all three parameters step by step i hope you people have understood if there are still any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section and i'm happy to answer those doubts thank you so much for watching